Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on Kalkine TV. We've got some trending news to share with you. My name's Sage. The retailer Woolworths Group reported nearly flat yearly profit on Thursday. It said that the team absenteeism and supply chain bottlenecks had hurt sales at the start of the new fiscal year for its important Australian food segment. Shares of Australia's largest supermarket chain fell 4% to 35 Australian dollars 92 cents against a 0.5% gain on the broader market. For Woolworths and its smaller rival Coles Group, lockdowns throughout the year and required worker isolations drove up expenses. At the time, poor weather and floods blocked highways and destroyed crops, driving up wholesale costs. Woolworths Group CEO Brad Banducci said, in Australian food, supply chain disruptions and problems with product availability led to variable customer experiences throughout the year. In its outlook, the company notes that the start of 2023's financial year is clouded by the cycling of the Delta COVID outbreak at the beginning of 2022's financial year in its Australian food business, which disproportionately impacted the larger state, New South Wales. Woolworths expects the trading environment to remain volatile and challenging due to endemic COVID disruptions, ongoing supply chain challenges, higher costs across business and cost of living pressures for customers. The board has declared a final dividend of 53 cents per share, bringing the 2022 financial year total dividend to 92 cents per share. Woolworths returned $2 billion to shareholders by way of a share buyback in October. Thank you so much for joining us on that report. I hope your day in trading is going well. Please stay tuned to Calcine TV for more market insights and expert talks. Sage signing off for now.